Hi guys, right, lesson eight. And it looks like at this first screen here that we've got a pretty strange title for lesson eight. Did Mr. Morgan, that's me, only bring water to the party? Did Mr. Morgan only bring water to the party? Now your first thought might be, what's that got to do with the Vikings? But I promise you it has, okay? If you concentrate on this activity for the next 50 minutes and really think about why you might be doing it and trying to link it to our overall question of the inquiry, did the Vikings only bring rapine and slaughter? I promise you, if you do those two things, this lesson will be very useful for you. So bear with me. Did Mr. Morgan only bring water to the party? I'm going to start off by reading you a story in this lesson. Did Mr. Morgan only bring water to the party? Last weekend, Mr. Morgan attended a party in central London. It was hosted by an actor friend and over 50 people were invited. It was reported in the newspaper the next day that Mr. Morgan only brought a bottle of water to the party. Although it has been confirmed that Mr. Morgan did indeed bring water to the party, my research has led me to decide that he also brought a number of other things. In this essay, I will touch on these in order to demonstrate that Mr. Morgan did in fact not only bring water to the party. Firstly, records from several of the other guests show that Mr. Morgan brought three bags of Doritos with him. He had these in his rucksack, so no one saw these as he entered the party. Instead, he took these out in the kitchen a few minutes later. Consequently, people thought he only brought the water, which he had been carrying as he entered the party. One guest confirmed that Mr. Morgan had brought three different flavours of Doritos with him, tangy cheese, cool original and chilli, and that he only ate seven himself. This therefore clearly demonstrates that Mr Morgan did not only bring water to the party. Secondly, Mr Morgan brought his excellent sense of humour to the party. He is known for this and he made sure to bring it with him to the party. He told 15 jokes, one of which was so funny that one guest had to be taken to hospital. Another guest could not stop laughing for 13 minutes. This sense of humour must have made the party much more enjoyable for everyone who was there. These points show that Mr Morgan did not only bring water to the party. Lastly, Mr Morgan brought his fantastic conversation skills to the party. One guest confirmed that Mr Morgan talked about topics ranging from Stormzy's latest album to the ancient Viking civilization. The fact that Mr Morgan was able to hold so many different conversations with so many different people shows that he connected with all the other guests. Clearly, therefore, he did not only bring water to the party. In conclusion, I have shown in this essay how Mr Morgan did in fact not only bring water to the party. In addition to this delicious bottle of water that he kindly brought, he also brought snacks, humour and excellent conversation. Right, that's the story. Let's now move on to the activity. You're going to um, categorise the essay and you're going to use three different colours. Now, if you're able to print it off, you can print it off and do it with actual highlighters. But if you're not able to print it off, you can do it using highlighters on Microsoft PowerPoint. You can also find this document in a Microsoft Word document if you can only edit it on there. And what you need to do is you need to try and highlight it according to three different categories. Reading the essay, can you try and highlight the argument? Can you try and highlight the linking words? And can you try and highlight specific facts in three different colours? Let's do the first paragraph together as an example. Right, last weekend. Hmm. Last weekend. Is that argument? I wouldn't say that's an argument. Is it linking word? So it's not a linking word. Specific fact. Ah, yeah. So it happened last weekend. That's quite specific, isn't it? 
So this is a specific fact. Last weekend, so I'm going to highlight that yellow. Mr. Morgan attended a party in central London. That's not that's not an argument, is it? It's just a, it's just a fact. And it's quite specific. Central London. So I think that's also specific fact. It was hosted by an actor friend and over 50 people were invited. Mm, I think they're just more facts telling us about um, what happened. And it's very detailed. Look at the number here. Look at how detailed that is. It's very specific. It was reported in the newspaper the next day that Mr. Morgan only brought a bottle of water to the party. Hmm. I think that's another fact that was reported in the newspaper that Mr. Morgan only brought water to the party. Although it has been confirmed that Mr. Morgan did indeed bring water to the party, my research has led me to decide that he also brought a number of other things. Right. My research has led me to believe my research has led me to decide that he also brought a number of other things. I think I've now started to introduce my argument. What I actually think is the answer to the question. Were there any linking words there? Or could we say that although is a linking word? In this essay, I will touch on these in order to demonstrate that Mr. Morgan did, in fact, not only bring water to the party. So I think here we can see more argument. And the next paragraph starts firstly. Hmm. So we've done the first paragraph there as an example. I would like you to try and categorise with your highlighting the rest of the essay according to argument, linking words and specific facts. Once you think you've given that a go, you can show it to your teacher and they will show you the answers and you can compare. You also, on your worksheet, by the way, the Microsoft worksheet is the best place to do the highlighting. There's a second task on the worksheet as well. Imagine that what you've just read is an example of an essay. Think carefully about the story that I've read to you and that you've been reading and categorising. What does a good essay need? What are the ingredients of a good essay? If you imagine that a really good essay is like a cake, what needs to go in to the essay? We know that a cake needs milk, sugar, eggs, flour. You can't have a cake without eggs. You struggle to have a cake without flour. What does a good essay need? And the clue is in the story that you've been reading in this lesson and categorising. Now, with this activity, task two, don't rush it. Really think about it carefully. What do I need to put into an essay to make sure that it's a really good essay? And as I said at the beginning of the lesson, once you've done this activity, once you've completed these two tasks and really thought about it, you're going to find it a lot easier next lesson to start thinking about answering this question yourself. Well done, guys. Good luck with the work today and I'll see you in lesson nine.